On today's episode of Diecast Emporium, we're going to be reviewing the Diecast Masters Core Classic Series Caterpillar 308C CR Mini Hydraulic Excavator. Not to be confused with the Diecast Masters Highline Series Cat 308 CR Mini Hydraulic Excavator that was released last year. I know, can get a little bit confusing. I have that one off to the side. We will get a quick comparison of the two at the end of this video. But the showcase point or the focal point of this video is this one. Item number 85129. This is a Core Classic Series model. So as you can see, as you might expect, it comes in the Core Classic style brown box packaging. On the back, you have a picture of the little mini excavator hard at work there. And here are all your specification details. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, please at this point, pause the video. And uh, we will go ahead and move on now and get this thing unboxed. So the first thing to note is that this is really a tiny model. Um, this is not very large at all, despite being 1 to 50 scale, because the real machine isn't very large. And just like that, the model is free. And yes, it does come with the catalog. All right, so... This was the first mini excavator uh, that was released in the cat scale model lineup a number of years ago. And then when Diecast Masters took over the license, this was one of the models that they uh, updated to, at that time, the latest cat um, trade dress. And they changed the color of the bucket and they updated the functionality of the model. And that is very evident with the tracks. If you have a rough service, these rubber tracks roll very well on those. The dozing blade on the front of the excavator does go up, as you can see to there, and it will go down to there. And the cylinders are strong enough to hold the machine off of the ground. You can see my pointer goes underneath the tracks there. It swings 360 degrees, as all excavators should. And the functionality of the the arm, the stick, the bucket, everything works very, very well. And the most important part about this excavator, despite being so small, is that the functionality is so good of the arm and the stick that it's high enough to clear, say, a CT660 dump truck or any kind of American high-sided dump truck, despite the excavator sitting so low and being so small. So again, excellent model engineering and design there. The bucket does feature, I know it's a little bit difficult to see because it's black, but it does have a five-tooth bucket, and it has some wear plating detail on the back. And there's also, again, this may not come up very well, but right here you have the cat logo on the bucket, and there's a lifting eye hole right here on the back. Um, and you can also put chains through here if you're you know, lifting pipes or things of that nature around. Small items, obviously. This doesn't have the hydraulic power to lift big items. And as for your decal application, as usual, they are crisp and beautiful, well represented, no paint bleeds or anything like that. The plastic components on here are the exhaust, the little hand and grab rail here, your plastic jackets. I already mentioned the uh, rubberized tracks, which is accurate because this machine would have rubber tracks in real life to work on streets and things like that. Underneath, here's a better view of the rubber tracks. They are attached by a single screw, Phillips screw. And because this was a first generation uh, Core Classic Series model, we do have our friendly neighborhood operator Bob here inside the cab. Also, this main hand and grab rail right here that the operator would grab to get in the cab is also a plastic component, but it's nice and thin. For your hydraulic lines on the stick, they are there, but the interesting approach here is that they're actually molded into the casting instead of being add-on rubber pieces. So what you could do is either add rubber pieces yourself or just highlight these with some paint, again, to give it some detail and give the illusion that the hydraulic lines really pop and stand out. Overall, I would have to say this is a fantastic compact machine in 1 to 50 scale. 
Again, when you're talking about com compact machines such as mini excavators, compact track loaders, skid steers, a lot of times they will make those models in larger scale, so like 132 scale, so that you can show more detail. So any time that you get compact equipment in the preferred 1 to 50 scale, it's really great to see. Now I mentioned that we would compare the two with, compare this one to the Cat 308 CR Highline Series 1 to 50 scale excavator. This was just released last year. I have a video review on this, so please feel free to consult that on the YouTube channel if you haven't already seen that as well. So this one is a Highline Series model, so you can take the operator out. It also comes with a series of attachments, so you can switch out different style of buckets, impact hammers, other things like that. Um, it is also a little bit more detailed, being that it's a newer model. And in terms of the size, the actual size of the machine, despite both of them being 308s, this one is noticeably larger. There you go. You can really see the difference in the size of the actual counterweight. But both are excellent models, without question. So, there you have it, collectors. Once again, that is a quick review of the Diecast Masters Core Classic Series Caterpillar 308C CR Mini Hydraulic Excavator in 1 to 50 scale. Fantastic model, very affordable. If you're a fan of compact equipment or excavators, I would definitely recommend adding one of these to your collection. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.